In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this really awesome, big dynamic text animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So with a brand new sequence created, we first just want to begin by creating our background. So we'll go layer, new, solid, press OK on this because it doesn't matter what we're selecting here because we're going to change this in a moment. Now we'll go into effects and presets and search for four color gradient. We'll drop that onto our black video and from there we can change all of these colors. So I'm going to go for a pinky bluey sort of color palette. So the first color is going to be a blue. The second color is going to be a pink. Third color can be a darker pink or a purple. And then the fourth color can be another pink or maybe towards the reds. So we'll press OK on that. And then from there, you want to increase the blend all the way up to the point where you get something like this. So you can no longer see those points. You just see a really nice soft gradient. Now from here, we'll go to the very beginning, create a brand new keyframe on point one, color one, point two, color two, all of these points here. And then we'll go maybe two and a half, three seconds in. We're going to move all of these points to different locations. And then we can change the colors. So you go to the first color and we'll change this maybe towards the pinks. We'll go to the second color and I'm going to push this actually towards the yellows. Third color we'll push towards oranges. And then fourth color we'll push back towards the blue. So somewhere around here. So as you can see, we end up with this nice gradient. So if we play this back, you can see this is how this has changed. So the points are moving and the actual colors are changing as well. Now to repeat this, we can just go into the dark solid, go into effects, go to full color gradient, positions and colors, highlight all of those, copy, move over and paste. So on Mac, that is command and on Windows, that is control. So command C and V and control C and V. Now you want to go to all of those points, highlight all of those points, right click, keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now, if you hold down the shift button, you can actually just highlight all of them. Right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, and that will convert all of those now. Great. So we have created the background now. So let's just lock this to begin with. So we'll lock that. And now we can create some text. Select anywhere in the video and type out a word or phrase of your choice. Now we'll go to the text window, which is on the right of After Effects. Now, if you can't see the text window, then it might be the character window. So you would just go to window and make sure character is enabled. And as you can see, this is the character window. But I'm going to go into the text window and I'm just going to center this. I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to keep the font as monster rat. And then I'm just going to place this in the middle by using the proportional grid as a way to help me. Now, from there, I just want to change the anchor point. So I'm going to move this. This is the anchor point here. And this is where the animation is going to come from. So I'm just going to put that in the center. Then I'm going to go into the text, go into transform, go to anchor point and move this down until the text now sits in the center like this. So from there, we can go to the beginning, create a brand new keyframe on scale, move over around 10 seconds and just increase the scale. So we're just getting this nice subtle scale in animation. Now we want to just make a copy of that text there. So we'll go command C, command V. We're just going to lock that top layer and then on the bottom layer, we're going to delete scale animation. So just turn that off. Then we'll go back into our text window or our character window and we're going to turn off the fill and enable a stroke. Now, if we increase the size of this, you'll notice this is what we end up with. So from there, you can just increase the stroke. So let's go to 10. We can change the color of this by selecting the box and then you can just move the position of this down. Of course, feel free to make the scale bigger if you wanted to, but you just want to end up with something like this. Feel free to adjust the stroke if you wanted a thinner stroke, completely your decision. Again, if you can't see the text window, if you've got an older version of After Effects, then just go into the character window and in the character window, you'll see this is your fill and this is your stroke. So to add the stroke, you would just select this box here and then you would increase the stroke by pulling this number there. So from here, we can now go back to the very beginning and we're just going to move the position of this over to the right. We're going to create a brand new keyframe on position, move over around to the 10 second mark and just pull that text over to the left. 
Now, when we play this back, you can see that's sliding over to the left and this foreground text is increasing in scale. The problem is though, at the moment, this is kind of blending into the background text and it doesn't really stand out. So that's where we can go to this bottom text and decrease the opacity. So we can decrease that all the way down to around 10, 10%, somewhere around there, and you end up with this. Now, of course, that is not the most dynamic background in the world at the moment. So we are just going to highlight the background layer and that bottom text layer. We'll right click, select pre-compose and feel free to rename that. Now we're going to make a copy of that. We are going to increase the scale. We'll move the position of this over to the right. And now we'll use the pen tool to create a mask around the right side or the left side of this text layer. Then we'll go into effects and presets and search for drop shadow. We are just going to increase the opacity. We'll change the direction around until we start to see it appear. Then we'll increase the distance, increase the softness, and then just feel free to pull the opacity down to get to your desired effect. Now you are more than welcome to change the color on one of these sides. So if we go into effects and presets and search for change color, if we go to that top layer. We can use the color to change to select the purple We'll change the hue saturation just a little bit and then pull the matching tolerance and the matching softness all the way up. So feel free to make that change and you'll find this is what we end up with. Now to go one step further, we're just going to go to that top layer. We're going to go towards the end of the animation, which is here. Press P on the keyboard at that point in time. That should load at position. Then we'll go to the beginning and we'll move the position of this over to the left. Feel free to make that even more dramatic if you wanted to. And this is what we end up with. Now from there, the background is still feeling a little bit too distracting. So I'm just going to go layer, new, adjustment layer. Make sure that is underneath the top layer, but above the other two layers. Then we'll go effects and presets and search for blur. We're going to drop the Gaussian blur or the Gaussian blur onto the adjustment layer. Repeat edge pixels should be selected. And then we're just going to increase that a little bit. So not too much. We don't want to lose the effect, but just increase it to the point where the foreground text starts to stand out a little more. So this is what we end up with. As you can see, by adding this blur effect, it really has slowed down after effects. So the blur effect can be very tiring on the computer. Now, of course, we haven't actually done anything to this top text. So now you can go back in and we can add some animation. So maybe we could go into animate. We could go to position. And if we go into the range selector, go into advanced and then we go to position and we pull this down. If we go to start, you can see it's currently zero percent. So we'll go to the beginning, create a brand new keyframe on start. We'll move over to around two and a half, three seconds, increase that to 100 percent. You'll notice this now animates up. Of course, though, we can still see this just waiting to come up. So I'm just going to draw a mask around the top half of that text. So around here. And you'll notice this now appears from nowhere. Looks really cool. The problem is, though, this doesn't look the most engaging. So we're going to highlight both of those keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now we're going to go into the graph editor, which is this option. We'll zoom into this point and essentially you can now change the look of this animation. So at the moment it starts and then it stops. But if you wanted to, you could pull these handles so it takes slower to come up and then quicker in the middle and then slower to finish off like this. Or you could start really quick. And then it slows down. So now we end up with something like this. Of course, there is a lot more that you can do to this, but this is just one way that you can create a nice dynamic background and then add some text animation on top. There's infinite possibilities with Adobe After Effects and creating animations and title slides like this. So feel free to take this as an example and go and create some really awesome title slides and title animations inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, then please consider checking out one of my other videos by clicking this playlist up here. Once again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in a future video. See you there.